This video on diabetes is a part of the McMaster Demystifying Medicine seminar series. Diabetes mellitus is a disease in which blood sugar levels rise above the normal for a prolonged period of time. There are two forms, type 1 and type 2. According to the International Diabetes Federation, it is estimated that 1 out of 12 people have diabetes, 50% of which are undiagnosed and therefore unaware of their condition, and of these, 5-10% to of diabetic people have type 1. In type 1 diabetes, the pancreas does not produce enough insulin. Insulin is a hormone in the body that promotes the absorption of blood sugar, known as glucose, to be stored in the muscles and in the liver. This can then be broken down and used for energy later when needed. Decreased insulin production causes an increase in blood glucose levels. For this reason, fat and muscle cells are deprived of glucose for energy. In a healthy person, the insulin is produced by special cells known as beta cells. They allow for these sugars to be moved to other cells. But in a type 1 diabetic individual, the body's defense cells attack these beta cells and destroy them. A diabetic person experiences excessive thirst, a need for frequent urination, weight loss, extreme fatigue, hunger, and blurred vision. Because there is a high level of glucose in the blood, the kidneys are unable to remove the excess glucose causing it to enter the urine. The urine now concentrated will draw the water out of the blood to become diluted before excretion. This would result in frequent urination and dehydration. A person with type 1 diabetes also feels extreme hunger and fatigue since the cells are starved for energy. This is because glucose in the bloodstream will not be able to enter the cells. Therefore, the body cannot convert the food into energy to be used by the cells. In order to treat diabetes, patients are given insulin injections. Additionally, proper nutrition and aerobic exercise also helps to control blood sugar as part of a committed lifelong management plan. If left untreated, type 1 diabetes can lead to coma or even a cerebral edema, which is an accumulation of liquid in the brain. This is fatal. Children are especially at risk for cerebral edema. For more information, please visit www.diabetes.ca. Here are the resources that we have referenced in this presentation. And now, let's take a look at a real-world example from a student at McMaster University. I was originally diagnosed with di type 1 diabetes when I was uh, roughly 8 or 9 years old. I was getting really sick a lot before being diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Um, there had been a period of time when I was fairly, you know, lethargic all the time. This is the glucose uh, monitoring kit, also just referred to as a testing kit or a tester kit. I give a small sample of blood with enough pressure to get a little sample and I can put it into the front end of the kit. This one asks me if I'm fasting or if it's before meal or after meal. I just ate a meal, so I'll put that in to count. And it's 8.3. That's actually uh, very good. Uh, this pump is its connected to my hip. It's just, just a temporary uh, land, uh, site. The sticker on this on my hip that has a needle on the bottom of it. So I, put, I inject the needle and then I patch down the sticker so that I can stay there while I'm active or while I'm sleeping or even going into the shower. Okay, so I have a message for people who have uh, type 1 diabetes. Um, now, regardless of what age you are, uh, I'd like to emphasize the importance on taking your diabetes seriously, especially with uh, either trying to have a bit more control or trying to take care uh, more of your insulin take through carb counting, or maybe it's trying to eat healthier so that the number of carbs you're dealing with is more manageable.